Uh, pleased. I can't, you know, anytime you win two games in a week, I don't care who you're playing, you got to be pleased. I, I was pleased that uh, I felt like in our previous game against Winthrop and Chattanooga that for the better part of the game, we've been the better team, but our bad stretches have cost us games. Uh, I thought Winthrop at home for 26 minutes, we were clearly the better team, and for four, the 14 minutes, we weren't cost us. And I thought at Chattanooga, uh, the first 10 to 12 minutes really cost us the game. Um, you know, I, I still think we had a couple moments. I thought the start of the second half wasn't very good with our with our veteran guys. I thought their intensity and their effort was was poor. Uh, their concentration. We had some turnovers that group, and then we subbed our other group in there. We do have good depth, and I thought Johnny and and um, Malik and, and Garrett and Jared all played with a lot more passion and energy. That that, that group of guys and and kind of got us going and up and kick started us, and they deserve to play more. So I, I'm I'm happy. Uh, I'd like to get better and better and better, but I think we still turn it over way too much in a game like that. But I'm still happy with our with our team. Questions? Could talk about the uh, the intensity. I just thought it seemed like guys played crisper and, and a lot of energy. Are you seeing some? Yeah, we're getting better. We're, we're getting. Better. I've said that the whole time. Even when we were even the, the the two games, the last two games before this at Chattanooga and, and at Winthrop, we were getting better. Um, but we haven't. Finish the games off. It's Winthrop in that case, and, and Chattanooga. For some reason, we just started so poorly. Um, we're getting consistent. We're going to like Johnny's only going to get better. Malik's only going to get better. Jared and, and Junior and Hunter and Garrett, the freshmen, are only going to get better. Um, we need consistency of effort, consistency of of concentration, um, of execution. Those things uh, uh, have definitely improved. What we wanted to see in these two games. Was can we execute our defensive philosophy on a consistent basis? We haven't been doing that very well. We've been giving up drives in the middle third and, and getting beat to death on penetrating pitch and giving up threes. And the last two games, albeit against teams that aren't Division One, we did a much better job being in the right right place on the floor consistently. Um, offensively, we still got to keep improving, but our numbers look better and we took better care of the ball today. But you know, I, I still get everybody at our turnovers in the second half or. Junior had three bad turnovers in the second half. Corey had two bad turnovers in the second half. They were just bad. Courtney Alexander had a bad turnover. You know, those those six turnovers in the second half, we shouldn't have had. Shouldn't have any of them. So if we take away those the way we're scoring, I, I'm really happy. Um, but we're, we're – we're, this week was what it was supposed to be. These games usually come the first two weeks of the season because of the way our schedule set up. We didn't. Um, so guys got to be resilient. They got to come back and answer. They get to play. These are good things. and. You know, they'll, they'll get tougher. We won't have any this easy the rest of the year. Um, and, and the key is how we execute and how we play. What do you want to do defensively? I thought they could shoot a little bit. They were pretty the, They have good talent. Yeah. They, for, for their level of basketball, they have good players. They're, I thought that the team we played Thursday had good, good guards, just no size. Well, tonight they had a little size, physicality. And they had, uh, we did a very good job on number five. Johnny did a good job on him. Uh, he was one for 12. He had 24 at Chattanooga. Uh, he could really shoot it. Um, we did a good job on, on number 23. He was two for 11, forced him in some tough shots. What we, our base is stay up the floor. We don't let the ball, we don't want the ball in the middle third of the floor. We want to get it on the sidelines uh, and deny penetrating passes and drives. And um, if, if the ball goes to the middle, it just opens up the whole floor defensively and we get killed with threes, which is what's been happening early in the year as we're learning. Uh, the last two games, we've, I've subbed them out when they give up middle drives. And, uh, and you know everybody wants to play. And so we've done a little better job. And uh, we just got to keep developing those kind of habits. But defense for that, we didn't do anything special other than just stay up the floor, pressure the basketball, good smart pressure. Um, we have done some things in transition a little different, which I think has helped us be aggressive. Um, but in the half court, our defense doesn't change. We got to do what we do, and we got to do it better. And we've done that. You must be pleased with the depth. You got a lot of contribution from everybody up and down the roster. Are you liking what you're seeing depth? Yeah, I, I've, I've felt that we've had more guys that could play basketball at this level than we've had in a long time. Um, now, those guys are either young, well, they're mostly young and inexperienced, including Johnny. Um, so they're, they're, they're playing, and then Courtney has to play a whole new position. Well, he played it some last year, but he's got a whole new role. Mike has a whole new role. Corey Tiller has a whole new role. Um, and and we've, we've kind of been inconsistent on our ability to adapt to those roles and, and, can, and consistently fulfill those roles. Uh, but we're getting better. It's what new team, I mean, most of those guys, we have, we have now that Cade's back playing, we have four guys that played in the game for Tennessee Tech last year playing. That's, that's not many. And we've had three up until the last week. So um, when you're playing 
eight, now we're playing ten guys. Um, where you gotta learn where they're at. It's a flow game. Your intangibles, your your chemistry matters, and the game's gotta flow. You gotta know where each guy's gonna be. He has to know that he's gonna find Cade when Cade's open, and he does a good job finding the post on his penetration. He's gotta know to get Cade open. He did a good job. We did a good job that today, especially in the second half. Um, you know, just just knowing each other, knowing where Malik likes the ball, where Micaiah likes the ball, Courtney's game. Those are things that that come with a little time and a little effort, and uh, we're getting there. I am pleased with our depth. Our young guys, I mean, you can see some talent. I'd like for us to be a little more physical on the backboard. Um, you know, I'd like for us to be a little more energetic at times. Our older guys don't always snap, crackle, pop with energy, which they should, but they don't. So when they don't, I'm going to play them younger guys and make the mistakes that we make and, and let them go. Um, you know, tonight I was going to sub more, but when that group went in at this 15, 16 minute mark of the second half and played with so much passion, I just let them play until they were just asking to come out. And, uh, you know, you need to reward, I got to reward guys when they do, they do the right thing. Talk about passion, the guy next to you, the guy, you had a little stretch here, I think, where you had like 10 out of 12 points for the team. How's he producing for you? Is he feeling comfortable with his position with the team? Well, I'm glad to go to the idea on it. But Johnny, I, I don't care about his feelings. I care about his productivity, <laughs> so he can tell you if he feels good or not. But. Are, are you comfortable, Johnny, to kind of your role now? Uh, you know, I'm just getting there. Uh, my team's done a great job because, uh, as you know, I've been out for a while. Um, so I was just trying to get back into the pace of everything. So um, I'm, I'm getting there. What do you? What was the hardest thing to get adjusted to? I think it's still the game. Or? I think it would just be the pace of it, just getting back up and down and and things like that. Let me answer that for you. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing individual workouts. Loves basketball plays. Yeah. There's a big difference in getting a shot off, working on that inside out step back shot. He can do all that stuff. Then the course of the game, we're looking for the high percentage shot all the time. So now the help side's there. This guy, now you got to make reads and you got to play with other guys, defensively and offensively. That takes time. I mean, that takes time. And um, he's going to be a good player. I've said, you see, there's glimpses of it. And But, you know, he, one thing, the only thing I ever told him was that don't anticipate anything except hard work. Be a great teammate, be coachable, and be the hardest worker we got. And everything will take care of itself. And I still believe that with all of our guys, but especially him. Because he's going to have moments where he, he has moments tonight where I thought, what is he thinking? You know, we'll watch film with him and teach him. But he also has moments where you can see his ability. And, and that's, we just want to keep getting mo more and more moments where he plays to his ability without thinking. Um, and, you know, he's, he's, it's tough because he's got to play the point and then he's got to play the wing. And then he, not only has he learned to play, he's learned to play multiple positions. And then I'm telling him he's got to be a defensive stopper. He's strong, he's fast, he's tough. And he's got to be a lockdown guy. Um, so on top of those things, I'm putting more demands on him. Um, but he, he has done the three things that I've asked him to do. He's been a good teammate. He's worked really hard. He's been coachable. Um, and that's not easy because he's a good player. I mean, he wants to, everybody thinks they're coming in. It's going to be 24 a night, and I'm going to the league right away. But the truth is it's hard to do. You have to, you have to play within a group. And he's getting there, and he's going to be a good, really good player for us. His bad nights have to be solid. And his good nights, he can go ahead and put 20 on the board. And, and you know, the ball, when the shot's going in and all that, and that's, those are good numbers. You know, but it's bad nights. I, mean, I expect nine and five and great defense and take care of the ball and, and get people open and a really good floor game. And that's, that is a hard thing to do, to be consistently on point all the time. And um, if he does it, he'll be really good and we'll be really good. That's a key to our team. John, talk about the, or is there pressure being asked to do different positions, lead the team, be a defender, plus also be a scorer? I mean, is that a lot of pressure on you? Uh, I don't really take it as pressure. I, I, I like it just because I'm on the court again. I, anything on the court, I don't really care what I was asked to do. If I'm on the court, I'm happy. So he I haven't get been to. on the court for three. He doesn't have to. He gets to. Yeah. He doesn't have to do that. He gets to do that. And that's, that's a, man, that's a, there's only so many nights in your life. And for an old fat guy like me, you remember all these nights, but there's only so many nights in your life that you get to put on a uniform. And when it's over, it's over. And like, and it, it, it's just special. Like being in a locker room with a team is special. Going to practice, even though it's hard, is special. I want them to cherish every second they get to do this. And, and passion is one of our core principles. I want them to do everything we do with passion. And and, uh, and he, he's really good at that. You know, he's beat up a little bit right now. His knees are bothering him. He'll he'll probably looking forward to his day off tomorrow. But um, he he's he's getting there. We just got to keep him healthy. He hurt a lot less tonight when he was going the hole and scoring than he did when he was turning it over yesterday the night. But, you know, and these seemed to look a lot better tonight when the ball was going the hole. So. <laughs>
Doug, talk a little bit about what you see. The team had some tough competition early where the record isn't kind of what people wanted. But Coach talks about it, see the improvement. You're on the floor. What are you seeing out there from the team? Um, just I, I see us, I mean, off the court and on the court, uh, we're, we're bonded as one. I mean, we, we hang out together, so that translates on the court. And as you saw, even in the previous game, Corey got off last game. It's just finding the open guy. Um, so I think we just play well together, and we're getting better and better each each day, each game. Coach, talk about the rest of the month. It's a big month for you. Um, tough opposition coming up. What do you want to see happen the rest of the month? Any goals you want to meet? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, right now, I mean, putting numbers up. I mean, obviously, I want to get back on putting more ticks in the left-hand side. You know, when you go with the win or lose, you need to put it on the left-hand side. That's what you keep score for. Um, but the truth is I love our kids, love our team. Um, they've got great character. I've never worried about where their mind's at um, as far as are they excited about basketball. If we, we really focus in our program on just getting better day by day, do the next thing right, and the results will take care of themselves. We're good enough. We'll win enough games. Um, it starts with this team. I've said every time, rebound the basketball, take care of the basketball. If we do those two things, then we can find out how good we can be. But until we do those two things consistently, we can't find out how good we can be. Um, we took some steps. We're getting better. Um, now we got to go do it. It gets a little tougher competition, but it also slows down. We get a little more practice time for every game. We don't. We don't have to. Our travel is not quite as rigorous as it was early, which was really tough on a young team. Um, I'm excited for this team. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm excited. Uh, I'd like to see us hit our stride right now and never slow down. We may not. We certainly have a chance. Um, but the truth is, I, I, no matter what happens the next game or the next day, we're going to be fine. This team's going to be good. Uh, we got three more games before conference starts. And then the conference season starts, and everything gets a little harder, everything gets a little tougher. But uh, you know, we, need to, we need to work on having a, we're going to have a good practice on Tuesday. And that's all I'm worried about with these guys is have a good practice. Let's get better Tuesday. Um, take care of their bodies on the, tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow. And then Tuesday, we're going to strap it up and play really hard and practice for two hours. And then we'll take another day off. But, uh, you know, it's what I want to see is this team reach its potential. Now, the path to doing that, I think we will. I don't know what the path is going to end up being, but I just want to see this team play to its potential.